Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We've had three X flares within the last 24 hours. Uh, one of them was definitely Earth directed, which you can see by all the particles that are coming off the sun. Uh, yeah, let me pause this and show you. There you go. See all that? That means that it's going to impact the Earth. And I'm just clicking one at a time. Yeah, and then we got a, another solar flare, it looks like. Let me go back a little bit, and you can see, and I'll pull it up, the solar flare. Yeah, see it's clear here, and then it goes off. Let me pull it up a little bit. Yep. And I'll go forward, and you can start seeing all the particles. Yeah. This all came from Sunspot Area. AR3848, which is that bad boy right there. I'll make it bigger. Here we have the different um, solar flares. Um, we got X2.1. We got X1.8. And then most recently, X1.4. There's much discussion about solar flares and corona mass ejections. This is strictly solar flares. And it states here, the plot on this page shows the most recent X24 hour X-ray data from the primary geo satellite. You can zoom in on the plot by selecting the time period that you wish to view, even um, export the graph, and it gives you different types of um, files. Beneath that, we have a collection of live imagery, what can be used to pinpoint the location of the solar flare and see if there is a coronal mass ejection. But last but not least, we have a listing detail of all solar flares that took place today, all times listed as universal. We also have a list here of sunspot regions. We have uh, 38, 39. Number of sunspots, 1, uh, 38, 41, 3, 38, 42, 9, 38, 41, 4, 38, 48. Now that's where the X flare came from. 14, 38, 49, 8, um, 38, 58, and 38, 52. Events of the sunspots in the last 24 hours. Uh, 38, 48 had a x1.8 3849 had an x1.6 3842 had an x1.4 so let's click on this see what it takes us to and the size is 600 i believe that would be equal to 1846 million square kilometers they also have for the Aurora forecast for tonight. Now, this is an experimental page, but you can see Washington, uh, Montana, um, Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Michigan, and going up towards Maine. And then tomorrow, this is their forecast for what it's going to be. Yeah, where I'm at is right along the edge. I probably won't see too much on both days here in South Dakota. Washington, probably a little bit better tomorrow. Montana, North Dakota, yeah. Maybe I should drive up there, right? <laughs> and then we got the Solar Wind Prediction Center. It starts out from the 8th. Doesn't look like they updated it. Maybe, okay, that's the 11th. Uh, maybe they have, I don't know. And it goes through the different time. We'll let it run again so you can see the CME that came off, uh, or the solar flare, excuse me, solar flare, um, that came off the sun right there. Yep, yeah, it'll impact us tomorrow. Yeah, let me pause this. Okay, here at the bottom it says run time the 9th, which is today. And then we'll run it through going to the future. And... Again, this is Earth Directed Wham. We'll pull this up uh, the tenth right there. And I'll come back down, play it through a little bit farther. 
Yeah, look at that. The earth is a green spot in the middle. So this recent um, event that occurred on the sun was a solar flare and a coronal mass ejection because it ejected a huge mass of plasma that is earth directed. I want to make that very clear. I've talked about how these do affect the earth. They do affect your health, your blood pressure. Yeah, mine's up a little bit. <laughs> People take more chances during such times, more uh, more events of road rage and things like that. But I wanted to show you here, up there in Alaska, there had 11 um, earthquakes. Yeah, they do cause earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Uh, we got a magnitude 3.4 most recently. There was also a 2.8. Let me bring this down. A 3.6. Um, I'll bring this down a little bit farther. Let's see. A 2.9. A 2.5. A 2.7. Um, where am I at here? It jumped down too far on me. Okay, 2.7, 2.5. A 3.0, a 2.5, and a 2.8. I wanted to take a look at Yellowstone also. Yeah, we got a geyser going off there. Just zoomed into that location. They got some bad wildfires up there. I've seen a video posted of some elk trying to get out of the way of the fire. Had to jump over a fence to get out. Some magnificent looking elk from the fires up there along the trans chalice fault zone going up to yellowstone there was also a magnitude 3.0 today um, that was fairly early this morning i believe let me check the time 6 44 a.m anyways that's all i have for you right now yeah um really active another sign of the times so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.